Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2019 Topps Update Series Baseball. This is Jumbo Edition. Pick your team number two. Very big thank you to all of these folks right here for getting into the action on Thursday the 17th. Remember if you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you got that in a team a random. And Eric Rittenhouse also has stars next to his name, you know, Last Bob Mojo. So thanks everybody for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. And good luck to everybody. Now remember, there's a um, quick little thing. Veteran commons don't ship, but once we sort out, once our team sorts out all the veteran commons, for everyone that bought a team or got a team, we're gonna slide 25 just random vet base cards and just send them off to you. So you'll have a little stack of those, which should be which should be pretty fun. One autograph and two relics per jumbo, ladies and gentlemen. And the silver packs this time are enclosed, uh, silver packs right here, are enclosed there. And let's pop these guys open and see what we start off with. All right. Some of these, we find auto autographs in these packs too. Or some parallels right here like Corbin Martin, which is to 199. We'll sleeve and top load all of these before they get shipped out. Just in the interest of time, we'll just set those aside. All right, and the oversized is gonna be for the Cubs, it's Javier Baez. I don't know if these are autographed at all or have parallels, but they're pretty nice. That goes to John Harshbarg, who got the Cubs in a... Uh, what, do you think, uh, what do you think an all-time greatest cards redemption is? One in 30,000. One in 30,000 all-time? Greatest cards all-time redemption. I don't know what that is. Mystery. All time greats redemption. Mike Trout. That's good. Are they saying that this is a buyback from 2011? Oh, maybe, yeah. That would be wild. There's like 50 of them Altuve, Canseco. Well, they're 1 in 30,000, so they must be one ones. Wow. Hank Aaron from 1969. That's kind of cool. All right, Jumbo 1, good luck, everybody. Or Jumbo, pick your team 2, first box. Box 1. And that's box 2, so on and so forth. And we'll try to snag some, a few of these. All the rookie cards are going to ship anyway, but we'll try to snag a few and set some aside for the top rookies like Pete Alonzo and Eloy and Vlad Guerrero Jr. and and uh, Tatis. Save a key boom as well. But all those rookies are going to ship anyway, so if I miss one, don't worry. They're all they're all going to. Be. I know the update has a lot of value for those particular rookies. And we'll be sending out all the variations too. I think there's like some celebration variations for particular players, photo variations, and we're going by the codes on the back of the cards to make sure that all the variations get pulled as well. And obviously stuff like that considered an insert so that Freddie Galvis will ship too. All right, John, what's going on? that key boom right there. It's a slightly different variation. Alright, 
There's Luisa Reyes for the Twins. That'll be for Eric Leal, 2019. Dude, the Angels are gonna get Mookie Betts. There, there's, there's. I feel like there's increasing chatter about Mookie Betts being traded if JD Martinez opts in. If he opts out, then I think um, they can afford to extend Mookie Betts. He'd be stupid to opt out. Yeah, I, th I don't think he's gonna get that money in it, anywhere else. He's good, but he's yeah, it's cool. for a thirty-one-year-old DH. You can't play outfield really. You know. He's going to opt in. They're going to have to trade Mookie. Yeah. Or they'll just do what the Nats did with Bryce Harper and just wait it out, I guess. That's true. They could do that. There's Eloy Jimenez. Nice nice commemorative medallion. He's, he's got some good weight to it, too. That goes to John R. John Rubner, who got the White Sox straight up out of 150. Tyler Stump, what's going on? I have not heard any Lindor rumors, but I think we had discussed that Lindor probably, they could probably trade him. I just, it just kind of made sense from a baseball standpoint. But are the Lindor rumors, are there actually rumors now? Confirmed rumors? I mean, I think it makes sense. I try to move, try to rebuild that team. This is a good one, Johnny Bench golfing. Whoa, Lindor to the Dodgers for Corey Seager, DJ Peters, and Matt Beatty. I'd do it. Hi, France. 2019. Would you do it, TJ? I think the Dodgers definitely have a good team, but I think I think they could use like a I don't know to kind of shake up the lineup a little bit, just to just to freshen things up, get some new faces in there, you know. Bullpen too. I know, I know, guys like Pedro Baez has had some good numbers in the regular season, but you know maybe maybe you just gotta shake up the shake up everything. You know, I mean not like rebuild, not sell everything off. There's Acuna Junior. 2019 for Eric Rittenhouse, but I mean just to shake things up. I feel like. I feel like, I mean, Seager still has a big ceiling, but, but Lindor is kind of already there. And you're kind of moving some some fringe players. That may benefit just from more playing time. TJ says hands down would do it. Right, I agree. You move, you slide Lux over to second base. You keep Lindor at shortstop. Or I guess Lux was traditionally a shortstop, but he looked okay at second base. And then keep uh, keep Bellinger in the outfield. I mean, all those guys can move around too. And Muncy can play first, and Bellinger will still be in the outfield. And Savage Evans saying Chris Bryant and Contreras to the Rockies for Arenado. That could be interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of... I think the last couple off-seasons have been a little quiet. I think this year you might see a lot more action happening early and often. Kelly says Mookie's going to the Braves. You heard you can hope anyway. Man, Mookie on the Braves. 
Braves have prospects to move, right? There's JT Real Muto for the Phillies. TJ Leonard got the Phillies in a team random. What's my opinion? I love Gavin Lux is great. Um, I was always concerned about his glove. But apparently he has worked extremely hard on, on his fielding. So... In the first year, I remember that Gavin Lux struggled a lot with the bat. It might just be him adjusting to, adjusting to, uh, you know, minor league baseball. I think he was drafted out of high school, so so maybe it was just an adjustment period. But got a good glove now. He's got. Um, we should be looking for an autograph too. Um, there it is. There's Nick Mar Mar Margavicious. Vicious. What's the Padres? I stumbled with that one. EA with the Friars. 10 out of 25. That was a rough one. Yeah, it's kind of, that was like a hockey name right there. But I think Gavin Lux quickly improved with the bat, quickly improved with the glove. I thought he'd be stuck at shortstop, but he made the he made the he was good enough to get slid over into second base. So yeah, so I, I, I like I like Gavin Lux a lot. All right, let's do the next box right here. We'll slide these guys over. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Nice. Thanks, Nick. So we got we can see all these big stacks right here. There's stack right there, and then you can I'll put the other stacks on camera really quick. So there it is. Now Josh Proust thinks that 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 Mookie stays in Boston. What? How, with what money, I guess? They've, they've got so much money locked away in Chris Sale. I don't think J.D. Martinez is going to opt out. But you think they you think they get the deal done? You did. T.J. called it. Are the Giants going to re-sign Bumgarner? Giants might re-sign Bumgarner. My angels might get him. You think he's a bum? No, I think he's still... I mean, I don't know. The transition to the AL might be a little weird. Yeah. But I mean, he's, he's, he still must have like at least a is Clint Frey, another few years in him of just solid starting pitching. Might have to deal with some injuries. I think he's getting a little bit older. He got he had like a weird injury last year, and but whenever he pitched, he seemed to be pretty good. There's Cody Bellinger. Got to keep Cody Bellinger, though. Seager, I'm willing to move right now. Cody Bellinger, no way. Dodgers, that goes to Trey Bush. You think J.D. Martinez opts in? Or opts out, John? Where else is he going to get... I don't know where else he's going to get that kind of money. I mean, is someone else going to... Pay him like $25 million a year and give him the years? I don't know. All right, let's slide this over right here. I mean, I, I, I think, I think JD Martinez opts in. I don't think any, I don't think anyone's going to pay him that. Aside from like, aside from what we saw with like Bryce Harper, and Manny Machado, I think the days of giving the slightly older players that kind of money, I don't know if that's if that market is there for him. Maybe it is, I don't know. But I don't know if that market's there for him. But yeah, if he opts out, yeah, then I think you're right. I think Mookie definitely, uh, Mookie definitely stays. They'll they'll extend him pretty quickly, and yeah, they could move Jackie Bradley Jr. maybe to open up some. Some more payroll too. Mookie to the Cubs, that would be interesting. Savage Evan was mentioning that earlier. All right, and there's Jim Palmer for the O's. That'll be for Eric, who won that spot in a team rant. Sean Corbett, what's going on? So there's hit number one. We'll keep track of the three hits per break or per box here. Joe Stan's asking if I'm excited about what Garrett Cole going to the Twins. Man, if the Twins got some of that starting pitching, that series against the Yankees would have been a lot different, I think. You can't it's just Jose Barrios and that's it. 
Hi right. Vanessa. Yeah, they 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 gotta they gotta get that starting pitch. They can hit. That we know. Twins can hit. Sonny Gray had a good season, 2019. Oh, that is numbered. We were just talking about Matt Beatty right here. 18 out of 50 for the Dodgers. Angels, I think, will be looking for looking at Garrett Cole too. They'll kick the tires on him. I think a lot of people will be looking for kicking the tires on Garrett Cole. But Twins could definitely use him. Brewers could definitely use him. Angels could definitely use him. A lot of teams could use him. Who couldn't use a Garrett Cole? Phillies could use a Garrett Cole at the top of that rotation. Sean says Cole is going to the Angels because they already have his battery mate. What, Max? Matt Stasi, I think? There's Paul DeYoung in 2019. You know, maybe the Cardinals looking for starting pitching. Everyone's looking for starting pitching. Yeah, I could see the Dodgers making an offer for Garrett Cole, but but I don't, I don't, I don't know if if they'll be able to compete with the others on an open market. Hey, what's going on? Oh man, I know. I that that update at the end of the night was just was brutal. <laughs> JD Martinez, speaking of JD Martinez. Nationals key booms. There has been some uh, key booms that we've pulled. But no uh, no key boom hits as of yet. John C. is saying, you believe, Brandon, that uh, Garrett Cole's brother-in-law is Brandon Crawford, so he maybe goes to the Giants? 43 S. Do you want to go to work with your brother-in-law every day, John? I'm not sure if that means they're close, right? Maybe they could be. Uh, John Ryan Murphy going to Arthur, AP, and the Diamondbacks. Eastwood, um, already available on jazbeescasebreaks.com. you got to look at our website. You would go to work with your brother-in-law? Eric Swanson for the M's 2019. Steve Olson, do you think Carter Keeboom cards will go up in value? I think so. I don't know if I don't know if he was I think he was well known as a good prospect, but I think hobby wise, Juan Soto kind of overshadowed him, so I think there's a there's definitely the a buy low opportunity for Carter Keeboom, but I think uh Depending on what happens in the World Series, that that might not last very long. That sort of buy low opportunity. If he, what if he rakes in the World Series, you know? So we got our two relics. We're just looking for one auto out of here. Nice Eloy right there for the White Sox. That'll be for John Rubner. There's Keebum right there, speaking of Carter. 
um, I think playing that complimentary football. If you got things like that going, it's always good. In Santa Clara, California, I'm Kelly Smith, ESPN. Oh, is it a random number block East? But I thought it was a random team. Number blocks are pretty good too. Those are better. And there's our autograph right there for the Cardinals. Ryan Helsley. There you go. Redbirds. That'll be for Dennis Jenkins, who got the Cardinals in a team random. So those are our three hits from that box. We'll do a hit recap at the end too. We'll do a left-right randomizer for any cards that are like this. It's Cody Bellinger to 2019 for the Dodgers. Well, I think the baseball game starts first. Sean, Sean's asking um, Thursday Night Football or ALCS. I think baseball starts first. I think we're going to start there and see how that game looks. And then maybe change if we have to. I think our the TVs above the card bar should have both games going tonight. I'm going to have to peek outside a few times. Trey, you got randomized the Los Angeles Dodgers. And there's been some numbered cards here and there. There's nice Kerry Wood back here too. And the box topper is going to be Roberto Clemente. Nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, Buckos. That'll be for Michael Gallucci. I should play the Sports Center top ten music as the intro for break recaps. I don't know if I don't know if they'll let us use that. Might have to pay them. All right, next box. Save that Pete Alonzo insert. And there's Nate Lowe, not to be confused with his teammate Brandon Lau. 60 out of 67 for the Tampa Bay Rays. That goes to Evan P. Dennis Moore saying, just read an article where the Yankee fans were a little class over throwing things at Astros pitchers. Yeah, don't, don't throw things, folks. Go to a ball game, don't throw things at people. Comes off as petty. Oh, I remember this game. The home run and shutout for Noah Syndergaard. That's for the Mets. That'll be for Richard Z. Well, you're saying players were throwing things at other Astros players, Dennis? Yeah. 
And the medallion is a cubby. That's Sammy Sosa. And that's not... There you go. 15 out of 25, Sammy Sosa. Knew there was going to be a lower number right there, a different background right there. Oh, that, so I, so that's how I read it the first time. Fans throwing things at at Astro players. Yeah, don't do that, fans. Don't be that guy. Don't be that girl. Um, that goes to John Harshbarger and the Cubs. Nice medallion there, John. Rookie combos for the Giants out of 2019. Yankees fans probably would say that, Sean. Jerks. All right. Do you want hits today or not, Sean Corbett? Easy with that. Here's Joey Gallo, 2019, Rangers. Should be another relic and the autograph is what we should be looking for in this box right here. That's true, Sean. That, that, yeah, every every fan base has has their jerks. Even the Cardinals fan base, even the even the St. Louis Cardinals fan base. I'm sure there's some jerks in there too. No, I know, Sean. It's Pete Alonzo. And there's your autograph. It's Griffin Canning. Legacy of Baseball autograph for the Angels. Eric Rittenhouse, that's one of his last bought Mojo teams. 18 out of 50. I think there's another relic right there at the bottom. Right there at the bottom. That's our third hit. about uh, questions about which one it made me laugh. 
And there's Blake Snell, Major League Material. And that is for Evan and the Rays. Evan got that in a team random. That's your third relic. All right, so there is one, two, three left right here, and then three stacks left right here. We're almost there, folks. No worries, Evan. Jason Moyer is double header today. Yes. Let's do it. Eighty-one out of ninety-nine, Brendan Rogers, and we got Kevin Crone. Sixty-one out of ninety-nine for the Diamondbacks. It's for Arthur. And nice, oversized Carter Keyboom. Nice. That goes to Photios and the Nats. Out of 2019, Kyle Bearclaw. Bear, Bearclaw? Mmm, Bearclaws. Behind Keston is Tris Speaker Medallion. It's a cool one for the Red Sox. That'll be for Eric Rittenhouse. Who does everyone have tonight? Astros or Yankees? I think the Astros are throwing out Zach Granke, who struggled in the playoffs, I think, and has struggled against the Yankees. Yankees are rolling out Masahiro Tanaka and arrested a bullpen, too. They got an extra day of rest because of the rain. Well, I guess everyone got an extra day of rest. Dennis says Astros. Savage Evans says Astros. Trey says Yankees. Cooper saying Granky stinks. That's that says it all. He's 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 on the Yankees tonight. Harshbarger is going with Yankees. So is it somewhat split? Kind of. It looks seems a little split. There's Austin Meadows, 2019. The Yankees, or if the Astros jump on Masahiro Tanaka early, that might be a, a long day at the office for the Yankees. Son has 30 catches through six games so far. So with all that information, 
two wins tonight. I'm going with the Chiefs. I just don't see them losing three straight. I think Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes kind of understand what it takes to win, and they get off the schneid, they get a win again. Ooh, John Harshbar even has a score prediction for us. Yankees, 8-3. And right on top here, we've got Nick Ramirez, his 67. Nice Pete Alonzo. That one is 2019. Does this movie look good? Are we, do we want to watch this? Old New York Yanks movie, Motherless Brooklyn, with Ed Norton, Alec Baldwin. And here's your second relic, that's Cal Ripken Jr. 103 out of 150. Major League material for the O's. That's for Eric Rittenhouse. This roll is Chavin in 2019. Roll is Chavin in 2019 for the Yankees. Should be looking for the autograph in this stack. And there it is, Austin Riley, rookie auto. Nice. There's a better way to sell your stuff. Check out Mercari. For the Braves, Eric Rittenhouse with the Bravos. Austin Riley slowed down a little bit by the end of the season, but there's a high ceiling for him, I think, next year. All right, two more stacks to go. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Box toppers for the second to last box. Nice Pete Alonzo. There's Will Smith, Dodgers catcher. 
and Nick Senzel on the back right there. All those, of course, will shit. And we've got for the Cubs, Chris Bryant. Possible trade rumors for Chris Bryant. It would be kind of crazy. If you told me a few years ago that Chris Bryant would be traded, or there, people are speculating that Chris Bryant would be traded, it would be kind of crazy. Like all teams in Week 8, Penn State has questions. But the defensive front isn't one of them. Uh, not for now, Steve Olson. It's Freddie Freeman, 2019. Kid Card saying what they should have traded Chris Bryant last year. No love for Chris Bryant, huh? World Series champion, most valuable player. Or rookie of the year. Just like that, gone. Yes, AP, this is the one where you have the Diamondbacks. There have been some numbered Diamondbacks cards, I think, but uh, nothing else after that. And there is Jeff Bagwell, commemorative medallion for the Strohs to 150. That'll be for Eric Rittenhouse, one of his last spot mojo teams. First of three. Kid, kid says, kid says uh, what have you done for me lately, Chris Bryant? He doesn't care. He wants a big deal. To get a big return, you got to move him like now. What, you, what, you, what, can you, what can you get for Chris Bryant now? What's on your mind? Eloy Jimenez and Ricky Henderson. Major League material, number to 50. The Man of Steel, that goes to the A's. That'll be for Eric. Robert, what's going on? Who do I have on Thursday? I think I, I'm, I'm leaning uh, Broncos here. It's a short week for Kansas City. They got to be on the road. I think it's going to be kind of an ugly game, to be honest with you. John Harshbarger wants Chris Bryant for Carpenter and Fowler. I don't think they're going to trade in division. There's Pete Alonzo. I like those silver ones right here. No, John Harshbarg is a Cardinals guy, a Savage Evan. That's why he's saying that. He's like, I can dream, but doesn't think that's going to happen. Send Fowler back to back to the Cubs. Get Carpenter off that team. Cardinals have the third baseman of the future for like the next 15 years. Yeah, I would start Lamar Jackson versus Seattle. AP. Mahomes is kind of a weird ankle thing going on. That offense isn't, hasn't quite clicked yet. You know, I think the Broncos are definitely going to try to make it an ugly game and keep Mahomes off the field and just run the ball a lot. Lamar Jackson. Look at Seattle. Look, look at the quarterbacks that have thrown on Seattle. AP. I mean, if... If, you know, Baker Mayfield didn't have 
all those interceptions, he'd have some pretty nice numbers against, pretty nice fantasy numbers anyway, against Seattle. Look how bad Goff has looked, and look how well Goff played in Seattle. Look at the numbers put Jared Goff put up in Seattle. There's 2019 Ronald Cooney Jr. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all up to you. I wish I had that problem, AP, with my fantasy team. It's like, oh, do I pick Mahomes or, or, or Lamar Jackson? That's pretty good. My fan, my fantasies. I'll, I'll tell you what, though, Arthur. My fantasy season is going terribly, so maybe you shouldn't listen to me. But I believe in the reasoning. Kevin, uh, Kelvin Gutierrez to 76. Oh, Sean Corbin's thinking. You think uh, Joe Madden brokers a trade for for Chris Bryant? Yeah, Angels have a lot of work to do. They've they've got a few obviously obvious stars and gems: Otani, Joe Adele, Mike Trout. They got a lot lot of work to do to fill out that team. I don't know if they have the trade pieces to get Chris Bryant or a player of Chris Bryant's caliber. I mean, I think they have to start. They have to just use money. They just have to start spending on players. Matt Fiesta, or uh, yeah, Matt Festa, that is. There's Bregman, Blue. I think they got to start spend, just spending and the, uh, as they rebuild that farm system. You got, they need pitching, relief pitching. Where's the autograph? There it is. Hey, it's Will Smith. It's a little Dodger Joe Mojo going out to Trey Bush. And my Dodgers. Nice. The Fresh Prince. Had a pretty great season. 129 out of 150 on that one. See one of this last Tatis right here. All right, one more box to go. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Sean's saying bullpen's good, but just hard to have to do four to six innings, three out of four times every five games. Well, yeah, they gotta. They just have. To, they just gotta add to the pen. I'm knocking cards around here. They gotta add to that pen. They gotta build some depth there. I always thought the wild idea would be to put Otani in as a closer. Is that crazy? There's Clint Frazier to 150. So 
evil Otani anchoring the back of that bullpen as a closer with the stuff that he has. Maybe possibly less less taxing on his arm. And then he can hit more often, I guess is the idea. That's my idea anyway. There's Jose Altuve. Astros, that'll be for Eric. And the final three hits out of our last box in update jumbo number two. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're almost there. We'll go through some orders after this, and then we'll see what direction people want to go. I don't think no one said anything sold out in the chat, so I don't think anything sold out. But we've got about, what, eight, nine orders coming in here, so we'll go through those and see what the people want to do and see what the will of the people is. So thanks everybody and good luck everyone in this one with the last box. Oh, Prism Hoops is down to two. All right, that actually does sound like the next break then. Josh Bell to J.D. Hammer? Is that his name? It better not be Hamer or something like that. Yeah. Drop the hammer, J.D. Gonna be Glaber Day All Star Game relic. That's pretty cool. Yankees, Jeremy Smith. Five out of five. It was not expected. A five out of five. There you go, Jeremy Smith. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Sorry, that's relic one out there. Let me set those aside. It should be one more relic and then an, and then an autograph. Are we going, going on early for Immaculate tomorrow? That I do not know. I have not been told anything about that yet. But stay tuned. Ooh, a Carter Keboom autograph. Nice. That's Fotios with the Nationals. There you go. Nice rookie auto for you. Yes, the one of one kins are back. Well, there's three of them now. But they're back. It's that time of year.
There's Michael Brantley, 2019. Melk Cabrera to 2019. There's the last relic right there. Let's see who it is. Looks like the big unit. But what edition of the big unit? There's been multiple editions. Looks like Diamondbacks edition of the big unit. There you go, AP. Commemorative medallion Randy Johnson, Diamondbacks. Not numbered, but still pretty cool. There you go, and let's see if there's any low numbered cards to close out this break. Once again, thanks for joining us. We've got an update double header break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That, that features one case of jumbo, one case of hobby. If we want to do that, we'd probably have to fill that in the next hour or two to give us enough time to break it. We've got a... Then we've just got pick your teams for uh, pick your teams hobby edition, pick your team jumbo edition. Those are also full case breaks. If you want to run back another jumbo, we can do that tonight. If you want to run a hobby, we can do that tonight. The hobby we would probably have to fill. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half, almost two hours yesterday. So we'd probably have to fill that around 8 o'clock LA time, 11 o'clock East Coast time if we want to get that done tonight. There's still plenty of time to fill it. So let's, And if we fill it earlier, we may have a chance. Nick Jaspi helping us out too, possibly. If not, we'll do it. I'll do it solo. Zeus Familia, 2019. Look how young Ozzy Smith looks right there. All right, and there you go. What's up, Cam? There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of your break. We got a one quick randomizer to do. We've got to do a left-right randomizer here for all of those. Similarly looking cards, similar looking cards. So let's go to random.org. Left, right. Let's roll it and randomize it three and a two five times. One, two, three, four, and five. It'll be the right side getting all of those cards, those type of cards. And here's a quick recap. There's the Randy Johnson. This key boom was nice. The autograph, and obviously we'll top load all these before they're all sorted and shipped out. The Glaber Torres relic was five out of five. That was pretty nice. We got Will Smith auto was cool. Ricky Henderson, Jeff Bagwell, Austin Riley, Cal Ripken Jr. Tris Speaker was cool. We got a Sammy Sosa to 25. Some old school guys right here. Some nice autographs. We started off with an Eloy Jimenez medallion. And there you have it, boys and girls. That is your break. That was eight box, no, six box. I wrote eight on this sheet. 2019 Tops Update Series Baseball from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.